Well, I'll be uh, the speaker before afternoon tea, so I'll, I'll make this quick. Uh, I begin by acknowledging that we gather today on Gomorrah land of the Gadigal clan of the Yoral Nation, who are the uh, traditional custodians of the land on which we meet, and I, may, and I pay my respects to their elders past and present and emerging. Um, I also pay that respect to um, or Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. Firstly, let me express my gratitude for, the, uh, for your presence and participation here today. I also thank PNG Corps, Anthony Smare for and team for allowing me the opportunity to speak at this conference regarding Puma's significant journey in Papua New Guinea. Our commitment to growth and our determination to resolve the current short-term challenges we are experiencing. Pima has been a dedicated partner to the development of PNG for, the, for close to 10 years. Our investment in the country goes beyond financial commitments. It extends to our valued staff, the communities we serve, and our deep-rooted belief in the potential of this nation. We have actively engaged with local talent, where 95% of our staff are local citizens of Papua New Guinea, providing employment opportunities and fostering a sense of community among our workforce and some 300 plus SMEs. Our investments have not only fueled our business, growth, but, I have, but they've also contributed to the broader economic prosperity of Papua New Guinea. Our commitment to PNG is steadfast, and we have embarked on a forward-thinking 150 million US dollars investment program over the next three to four years. This investment and, init and initiative is geared towards bolstering rural retail, an integral aspect of our strategy, to ensure that the benefits of our presence are felt in even the most remote areas of Papua New Guinea. Furthermore, we are proud to announce our commitment to harnessing clean energy, such as solar power in our refinery and terminal facilities, a move that aligns with our dedication to sustainability, both locally and globally. We have also actively engaged with Triple GI and CCDA in carbon initiatives which we have established in other parts of the globe, which we look forward to implementing locally in PNG. As we look ahead to the future, we recognize that short-term, that we do have short-term issues which pose challenges that if unresolved could jeopardize our ability to contribute meaningfully to PNG's growth. One such challenge is the persistent foreign exchange issue, which has regrettably led to supply disruptions over the past 18 months. And I would like to sincerely apologize to our customers and communities for any inconveniences caused. FX remains a key impediment to business across various sectors in PNG, and we acknowledge the efforts of Bank of PNG and the government of PNG in addressing these issues, which the Treasurer Ian Ling Stuckey mentioned yesterday. While we are heartened by the initiatives to address FX challenges and liberate the Kina, we believe these solutions will only yield significant results in the next 12 to 24 months. In the meantime, Puma is ready to assist the country by providing structured support to enhance FX liquidity, drawing from our experience in numerous other countries where we operate globally. Hence, we call upon all exporting companies, and, this, and today I've heard, and yesterday we've heard a number of these speakers talk about onshoring FX proceeds into the country, and especially those who extract minerals and commodities from PNG to, pay, to, to, to actually play their part in ensuring swift and, and efficient repatriation of US dollars to support the country during this critical short-term period. This not only will help businesses, but the very people who live and work for each of our businesses and live in our communities and country. No one is insulated 
from the high cost of living in our communities, which, which is what we have experienced this year. Another pressing concern is the unilateral closure of, our, of Puma's bank accounts with BSP on March the 8th, 2024. Such an action would undoubtedly impact our operations, resulting in a detrimental impact to our customers, communities, and the country as a whole. Despite months of efforts, we are perplexed and disappointed by the lack of clarity surrounding this decision. We urge all involved parties to come together for pragmatic and solutions-focused discussions, as we firmly believe that whatever issues BSB has can be resolved. Despite these challenges, Puma remains enthusiastic about the future of PNG, just like everybody else in this room. Our commitment to environmental sustainability is evident through our initiatives, such as continued investment of clean energy at the refinery, terminal facilities, and our role as a distribution hub for the Southern Pacific signifies an enduring dedication to the region. In conclusion, we are confident with the collective and collaborative efforts including timely solutions to these short-term challenges. Puma will continue to be a significant contributor to the prosperous future of Papua New Guinea in energizing the communities we all live in. Once again, thank you for your attention. And everyone, thank you for your ongoing support. Merry Christmas and may God bless us all. Thank you.